Jimmy Thái xin kính chào quý vị khán giả của đài VNTV San Diego. Thưa quý vị, trong phòng thu phim của chúng tôi hôm nay, xin mời quý vị gặp gỡ hai khuôn mặt rất là trẻ, rất là đặc biệt. Đây là hai học sinh của trường Proyz tại Đại học UCSD. Hai em chỉ là học sinh của trường high school thôi, nhưng mà trong cái campus này. Và cái đặc biệt là hai em trong một cái chương trình robotic và mấy em vừa thắng được cái cái regional và mấy em chuẩn bị đi cái national, tức là các em sẽ đi thi đấu tại cái lĩnh vực quốc gia và hôm nay xin mời quý vị gặp hai cái em học sinh mới này đó là cô Christina Tran và em Quý Phan chào hai em bây giờ Christina và Quý có thể nói cho khán giả là mấy em đang học lớp mấy và mấy em tại sao là theo được cái chương trình robotic này well for first um, there's many divisions inside first that uh, kids can compete at okay. and so at the lower level you have junior FLL Okay. which is uh, mostly for preschoolers and first to third graders. Okay. And then you have FLL, which is uh, a little above that. All right. And that's um, a little higher from fifth grade to eighth grade. And then the rest, you have FTC, mm -hmm. which is the next one. And it's mostly high schoolers. And then lastly, the one that we're in is uh, FRC, and that's ninth to twelfth grade. So there's many divisions, and depending on what grade you're in, you can choose which one you want to join. Okay. And yes. also robotics isn't just also about robots. Mm -hmm. There's also a business, ti business side to robotics. Okay. Like for example, I'm in outreach. Uh -huh. So what I do is I create events to promote STEM and robotics. Okay, so explain to the audience a little bit about that, right? Because when we hear robotics, we keep them about geeks that mm -hmm. building stuff and doing things like that. But you just mentioned a very aspect that I don't even, not even aware. You mm -hmm. talk about the business side of it. Uh, what exactly is the technical side? What exactly is the business side? And how these two fields play together? Okay, so for the technical side, which yeah. is um, every season, there's right. a game that comes out. Right. And each team has six weeks to build and prototype and program their whole robot, right? But mm -hmm. um, the whole point of that isn't just for competing robots. Right. The program at first is to inspire young kids to go into engineering or STEM related fields right. and it's to make these kids want to do that. And the program is to, so that it's a program that's fun and also mm -hmm. interesting so that right. they can join. Okay. And so it's just not all robots, but the, the main point of it is really to inspire the young kids so that when the older generation leaves, mm -hmm. there, there will be younger kids that are motivated mm -hmm. and are, know what they're doing so that they can fill these roles. So you're talking about mechanical mm -hmm. engineering skill, right? Because yeah. you have to have the mechanical, the wheels and all of these components. So you talk about electrical component because you have a lot of battery, you have a lot of power package. And then you talk about the software engineering because you have to write software to control all of these modules, correct? Yeah. So those are the things that you talk about. Hey, the more you get engaged with mechanical, electrical and, and software engineering, then you will be more interested in pursue these majors mm -hmm. when you go to college. Right? It make a lot of sense. Now, Christina, talk to us a little bit more about the business side and why we need to do outreach when you work on the robotic team. Yeah, our target audience are the young generation because that's right. what our future is. Right. And these events are supposed to promote STEM. Mm -hmm. And we do this by creating events and presentations at the Boys and Girls Club. Mm -hmm. And also, um, our team has created a girls STEM conference mm -hmm. because we know that um, girls these days are underestimated into becoming um, successful in the STEM right. path. So what we did was created a conference composed of three different um, three different components, which uh, we taught the girls how to 3D CAD. Okay. And then we also taught the girls how to become um, leaders and just um, personal um, woman empowerment. And we also okay. did speed mentoring, where we allowed women, girls in our school to talk to real life STEM women in majors. Okay. So um, we also did that, and we also do many other events that San Diego hosts, for example, the Robot Day. You learn about 3D CAD, so that's all the drawing, right? The yeah. technical drawing of yeah. it. You learn about public speaking, so you learn about putting proposals together and try to go get funding and try to tell people sponsor your team yeah, and exactly. all of that. And also fundraising too, right? Because that's another aspect. You need to have a lot of money to build a lot of these robots. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's wonderful. Now let's talk a little bit about the competition that Pro School just won and get yourself mm -hmm. ready for the national. Okay, so um, the one where we won the uh, invitation to champions was uh, at Vin, uh, was Central Valley Regional. Okay. And that was located at Madeira High School. Okay. And so that was the second week. There's mm -hmm. 
six weeks of competition. So mm -hmm. we were the second week and we drove all the way up there and mm -hmm. we competed. Right. Um, a robot this year, we did um, average, I would say. Um, compared to the other teams that are there, our teams always have the, the, a lot of resources compared right. to the other team where a majority of our students are low income. Right. And so most of our money we get from sponsors or fundraising, so whatever we can get. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. our robot, I would say, isn't as robust or as professionally made as them. I see. And I think how we performed is very good at what we had. And so we didn't win the robot side, but mm -hmm. um, there was another award. And it's the Chairman's Award, mm -hmm. which is one of the most prestigious awards that they give out there. And right. it's the award that basically describes a team that first wants so that they can just inspire other teams. So they go around and they go around the community and they do outreach events, uh -huh. like the one that CT was talking about. Right. And they outreach to the community and they tell the community about how what robotics has impacted them right. and how STEM it can uh, influence their kids too. Awesome, awesome. I picked up from your conversation there, it's about the word inspire. So Christina, can you introduce our audience a little bit about the Proy School and why the Proy School at UCSD is designated for low-income students? Yeah, so um, the Proy School is for low-income students, right. which would be the first generation to go to college. I mean, your parents cannot be college graduate, yes, right? Yes, okay, yes. And um, I think that the Proy School and the robotics team just mm -hmm. are really good in those aspects because um, students at our school are very different than the other robotics teams okay. here in San Diego or in any other countries or cities because we don't have as much resources right. as the other schools that the Proy School could give us. So what we do is just take what we have and mm -hmm. do the best as we can. Mm -hmm. And again, the, the Proy School does support us. They, right. they help us in any way that they can. But right. because um, the resources that we don't have as much as we do, mm -hmm. that's what makes our team very strong. I see. Why you are a high school at UCSD campus, and everybody here about UCSD, they think about billion, billion of dollars in research. And you have a really good Jacob School of Engineering right next to it. Mm -hmm. So why can't you can go to Jacob School of Engineering and say, hey, can you guys give me some of these stuff, <laughs> like some of this money that I can go build my robot? Yeah, the thing about our team is we're strictly student run. Oh, I see. Yeah, so that is why uh, we do have mentors mm. and sponsors that help us out. Mm. But besides that, our whole team is student run. Mm. Seems like you guys ran really well team then. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. Now let's talk a little bit about this championship that's coming up. When, where, and how much money you need to send your team to this national championship. Okay, so the championships this year, it's going to be located in St. Louis. It's located the same place every year. Okay. It's going to be at the Edward Domes. And so all the teams that get an invitation get to go there. Mm -hmm. And so since it's so far, we can't really bust it there. So right. we're going to have to uh, fly. fly over there. Mm -hmm. okay. And so plane tickets are going to be really expensive. And right. our team is, we're trying to take about 28 people. Mm -hmm. And a uh, ticket for each student is costing around seven hundred fifty dollars. Right. And so right now we raised um, our goal right now is to raise ten thousand dollars, and we're doing any means that we can. So we're right. asking the community, we're asking back from Poise again. Mm -hmm. We're also writing to some sponsors that our mentors mm -hmm. from, because our mentors that we get they're from either engineering companies around here right. that help us. And so through their connections, we can ask for money from them. Okay. And when is this competition? It's going to be April 27th to April 30th. 27th to 30th. So mm -hmm. basically you have less than a month Correct. to yes. try to raise the $10,000. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys are poor students. So it's not an easy <laughs> task. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what exactly the fundraising activities that you try to, to do here and hopefully the audience can help you? So what we did was we started a GoFundMe page. Okay. And that information will be available if our listener would like to go to there and donate for your cause, correct? Yeah, by any means, um, any type of donation counts. Right. So it doesn't have to write a $100, no. $500, no. $5,000, you know, $5, $10 here and yeah. there. A lot of people put in and it will help, mm -hmm. right? And what else do you do, you do try to meet this $10,000 so you can go to this championship? So one of the things that our finance officers does uh -huh. is, um, like I said, he writes two letters, uh, letters asking from other mentors. Okay. And then sometimes we want to ask, because we're part, part of the Proy School, we have um, connections with the Jacobs uh, School of Engineering. Right. And so 
some of the engineering students there, um, sometimes they come back and they uh, donate. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in addition, so, uh, many of the alumni that graduated from Proyce, right. they are also part of the robotics team. Good. And so um, since they've gone out, some of them are either in college still or they're graduating and they have jobs now. Mm -hmm. And they see what the club has done for them right. and how it's impacted them and right. uh, influenced them and wanted to go into STEM career. And right. they know that this is a good cause. And right. so they come and they also donate back to us. Uh, pretty good. I'm really glad to hear that. Now, let's, let's talk about the, the try and errors that to get to this stage, right? Because I think it, it's a long process to yeah. be invited to the national level. Not many teams can make it. So can you quickly describe the field of competition at the beginning level and now narrow down to just how many teams so the people can have the magnitude, understand the magnitude of the importance of, of your trip here coming up uh, on April 27 and 38. Okay, so uh, each regional, mm -hmm. we first thought of there's regionals and there's uh, district regionals. Okay. So the district is most likely the sm smaller ones. Right. And there's about 30 teams there. Right. It's for areas that are small and they don't have a lot of teams. So right. teams that are they're not a lot of teams, they go to that. And then if they gather enough points, they go to regionals, mm -hmm. which is the one we're located at. Right. But since there's a lot of teams already located in the California area, right. uh, we just go straight to regional. I see. And then at a regional, um, there's around 50 to 60 teams. Wow. And about, there, there's awards at the end. Mm -hmm. So only about five teams. There's five awards, but then, so you have three teams that are go for winning the actual robot competition. Mm -hmm. You have um, rookies. So any teams that's just barely competing and they do really well. Mm -hmm. They also get an invitation. There's also an invitation for chairmen. Right. And so it's not a lot of uh, invitations to the chairmen. Right. Uh, championships. So around seven, seven, eight, depending on, like there's a lot of other factors, but around eight to seven to eight teams get invited every okay. year. Wow, only seven and eight. But wow. because there are so many regionals, right. there's so a lot of people there, That's right. the champions. Yeah, and you think that the robotic team at Proys have a pretty good shot at winning at the national this year? Um, our point to go into the championship isn't really to winning this year because mm -hmm. that's not what we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, Going there will give us experience right. to the new members too, and also to the old members right. for all the hard work. Mm -hmm. And so by going to the championships, you can also meet uh, the teams that are very successful, like top of the line, mm -hmm. the powerhouses, right. the ones that do really well. Right. And you can meet them and you can ask them and how they do so them. well That's and right. what are the things that they do. Good. And then like it's just a communication and you can mm -hmm. bring it back to your own place and then incorporate it into your own team to Good. become successful like them. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, so here's the last question I have for, for both of uh, you, uh, Gui and Christina. With all the younger students, especially girls out there, mm -hmm. what message do you have for them to inspire them to participate in STEM you know, curriculum and also in uh, boys club like robotics? Yeah, I would say to don't be hesitant to okay. join a robotics team because I know a lot of young generations and not even girls or boys, mm -hmm. they become hesitant because they think that robotics is a club for nerds right. and for geeks. Yeah. That's exactly how I thought when I first came to robotics. I right. thought I wouldn't fit in. Mm -hmm. I thought I wouldn't, it wasn't right for me. Okay. So when I became um, more involved mm -hmm. and I came to every single meeting and mm -hmm. I came um, to every single event that they hosted, I thought this was an environment that I would like to surround myself in. Good. So, and um, definitely um, seeing all my peers and all of the teammates, how they work together, it's truly an incredible bond. And we mm -hmm. just act like a family. We just love each other as a team. Okay, wonderful, good answer. How about you? Well, I, I'd encourage all the girls, if they're interested in going joining the club, for example, um, our president right now, she's uh, also a female. Okay. And she started when she was uh, in eighth grade. Mm -hmm. So we have a little program where it's called the Mini Mini Mechanics. Mm -hmm. And so if you're an eighth grader and you're interested in joining the club, because it's a high school, you can't really join it, but you can still be part of the team. Mm -hmm. And so she was part of that. And then as she became more involved with the team, um, she knew more stuff. And then she's been president for the past two years. Oh, so I wonderful. encourage her, any girls that are interested in robotics or not even in robotics, mm -hmm just STEM or anything, they want to be part of the group right. to, to join it. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful, really good messages there. Uh, yeah, kính thưa quý vị, thì để tóm tắt lại cuộc nói chuyện với Jimmy Thái và hai em học sinh 
trung học cấp 3 đó là Quý Phan và Christina Tran thì hai em này trong cái đội robotic team của cái trường High School Price tại Đại học UCSD và hai cái đội này đã thắng được cái giải regional và bây giờ hai À, em chuẩn bị cử à, cái team của mình đi đánh ở cái national level và cái điều đầu tiên mà quý các, các em cần sự giúp đỡ của quý vị là các em cần phải ray 10.000 đô la để mà gửi cái đội của mình đi qua bên đó và cái trường Proise cái điểm thứ nhì cái trường Proise này là cái trường là chỉ có những học trò cha mẹ à, có income thấp tức là lợi tức thấp là nghèo và chưa có cha mẹ được nào đi được đi học đại học hết thì mấy em đã mới được tới học vì như vậy cho nên mấy em không có nhiều cái cái nguồn tài liệu với cái nguồn nguyên là cái nguồn uh, tài chánh từ gia đình giúp đỡ mấy em cho nên đó là các em sẽ ra uh, nhờ cái sự giúp đỡ của cộng đồng và cái điểm thứ hai nữa là các em muốn nhấn mạnh là đối với tất cả những em gái nào ngoài đó mà muốn tham gia những cái chương trình STEM tức là Science uh, Technology Engineering và Math tức là những em gái nào ngoài đó mà nghĩ là cái này là chỉ có những con trai thôi hay là chỉ có những người nào học về chuyên gia về kỹ thuật thôi thì không phải tại vì giống như Christian đã nói vô trong đó là sẽ gặp nhiều bạn bè sẽ tập cho mình cái cách làm business cái cách nói chuyện cái bond cái family và có rất là nhiều chuyện mà các em có thể học hỏi được lẫn nhau và và giống như là trong cái gia đình từ một khi mình đã có một cái team mình làm việc như vậy à, với cái sự tóm tắt như vậy thì Jimmy Thái xin tạm dừng cái chương trình Stay Talk hôm nay và xin hẹn gặp lại quý vị trong chương trình kỳ tới xin chào tạm biệt Chào Christina và chào quý. Chào Jimmy Thái. Thank you.